Hi, Keith here from North Hoi Fly Shop. <clears throat> As we all have is lots of dubbing. Um, what do we do with it? It's one of the biggest things with dubbing is storage. So you can buy uh, dubbing that's already in pre-containers, um, uh, dispensers, or you can just go ahead and make your own. Um, what I found to make your own, it's real simple. It takes about 30 minutes of your time to get it all done. <clears throat> simple things like your, uh, your, your boxes that you get over in the tackle section. Um, you can go with any sizes um, all the way up to the big ones. <clears throat> the divider ones work real good because you can set how many different types of dubbing you want per box. So let's get started real quick. So basically, we've already kind of started with one. The biggest thing that you're going to end up with is uh, the most time consuming part of doing this is to measure. Because, uh, you know, the old adage of uh, measure twice, cut once. Well, we're going to measure twice and uh, drill once. So a couple of things that you're going to need, of course, is going to be whatever box you decide to use. Uh, to measure it, the best thing I've found is just a straight edge uh, ruler, uh, a black felt marker. So <clears throat> I've already started on this one. <clears throat> so we'll kind of show you here. Put that out of the way. Um, you're going to measure your halfway point between your length and your width. And as you can see, I've already pre-marked it. And for the most part, uh, a quarter inch drill or a, a 9 16 drill uh, will be all that you need. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. And there's a little trick, since I've already kind of loaded this, but to keep from going through your lid, <laughs> is open it up like this, put something underneath. So we're gonna get that centered right there. Remember, this is plastic, so it's not going to take much to go through. And it would help if I... Okay, it's in the right spot. And we're going to do the second one. Okay. That's all we need for drill. The only other thing you need to do is kind of... Clean up a little bit of those tags in there. And the best thing to do there is just take an old pair of scissors, clip some of that out. Like that. There we go. So the next thing, <clears throat> one of the things that I've learned now that we've got our, all our holes drilled is uh, you want to mark your box as to what each dubbing is and so forth. And I found that doing that before you add the dubbing is the best way to do it. So, and you can do it any way you want. Um, you're going to do your labeling on the lid. So, as you can see here, I just went through and, and uh, basically put down the colors. And because this box is just going to be semi-seal, I put a label on the front. And you can use any label. If you've got a label maker, that's great. Um, whatever type of labels you want to use. The only thing I would recommend is do not glue the labels to your box because you can take it, uh, the tape off and uh, it's a lot easier to switch out if you want to change colors. So the only other thing is, is by doing the size that I've done here, it will hold a full package of your dubbing. Usually that's about a quarter ounce. And all you got to do, just add your dubbing to each one. so we get a full box here oops see that's why <laughs> pay attention to what you're doing here add it to it get everything in its in proper order like i said it holds a full package flip that up and then if you want to get your dubbing out just take your bobkin reach in Pull it out. Once you get it started, it comes out real good. And then when you're done, you can just push everything back in. Christmas time is coming. This is a real good project for that uh, fly tire that you have in your home or your friends. Make your own dubbing boxes for them. Um, you can add all whatever dubbings. You can go whatever size. So that's just a little tips and techniques just to kind of help you out um, and keep things organized. And 
everybody knows that when you're tying flies, organization is the best way to go. Until next time, we'll see you later.